Thank you, sir. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Um, it's my pleasure to deliver the keynote address this morning, and I thank the forum for the invitation. I'm uh, with my very exciting, interested in listening to uh, Yannick and also SC's uh, uh, message just uh, delivered uh, minutes ago. We are at a critical moment in time as we observe the convergence of the facts that if ignored, would prevent us from the, uh, ending the global hunger and malnutrition in its all forms. The number of hunger people in the world have increased during the last six years in a row. So that's even before pandemic. They already increased by 10 million in 2019 and nearly 60 million in the five years before that. It is estimated that by the end of 2020, the COVID-19 pandemic added another 132 million to the number of the hunger people in the world. The child studying remains unacceptably high, and overweight and obesity continue to increase in rich and poor countries alike, especially in the city. More than three billion people in the world cannot afford even the cheapest health debt. The current consumption pattern and agro-food systems are contributing to this disturbingly high rate of the food waste and loss. Air pollution, greenhouse gas emissions, and the loss of biodiversity and constitute a growing source of inequality. This is uh, generating severe human, economic, and environmental costs that run into the trillions of dollars. To get to the where we need it to be by 2030 and or beyond 2050, we urgently need to do some, something different and act holistically to transform our agri-food systems. We need to recognize the interconnected and compounding economic, social, and environmental impacts of our agri-food systems. There is a range of solution packages that would address hunger, food insecurity, and malnutrition while ensuring affordable health deaths for all. Solutions that can also reduce the carbon footprint and ensure environmental sustainability. Policy solutions can be designed to be an engine of economic recovery, create viable jobs and a sustainable livelihood, importantly addressing inequality. Holistic agri-food system solutions should be context specific and much needed to be done to identify these, but it is critical that we begin to do this and to do it at scale. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2030 agenda has highlighted awareness of the key role that future agri-food systems will play in facing the global challenges of malnutrition, poverty, the use of biodiversity and the ecosystem service and climate change. The agenda is there to guide us but historically, consensus surrounding its adoption must be matched by a political determination and a commitment to deliver it. With many SDGs off track, the need to engage all fact actors at all levels with the systematic approach become more pressing. To achieve the ambitious transformative change required, we need a new dimension of cooperation not only across the border, but also within the whole of society. We need to change our policies, mindset, behaviors, and a business model. That's four areas I said it's innovation. I fully agree with uh, 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 the chairman. Innovation is not only technology innovation. We need a policy innovation, mindset change, behavior change, and the business model change. The renewed, inclusive, and agile effort lead by example, taking advantage of digital technology and building bridges across the region and the continents with our members. We have 194 members and partners. Within European Union, our member organization for 30 years 
We are continuing to strengthen collaboration on the transforming agri-food systems. Private sector is a key ally in the fight against hunger, providing innovative tools, resources, knowledge, and technologies to achieve transformative change on the ground. This is why FAO is spearheading a modern approach in our work with the private sector. We do so with our newly endorsed strategic strategic for uh, private sector engagement. This is fully aligned with FAO commitment to support the members to achieve the SDGs by 2030. Dear colleagues, FAO strategic framework 2022 to 2031 seeks to support the 2030 agenda through the transformation to more efficient, more inclusive, more resilient, and more sustainable agri-food systems for better production better nutrition, a better environment, a better life, leaving no one behind. This for betters represents the guiding principle and innovative business model for how FAO intends to contribute to SDG 1, no poverty, SDG 2, zero hunger, and SDG 10, reducing inequalities, as well as to supporting the achievement of the broad SDG agenda. The four betters reflect the interconnected economic, social, and environment dimensions of agri-food systems. To accelerate progress and maximizing our efforts in meeting the SDGs and to realize our aspiration, FAO will apply four cross-cutting, cross-sectional accelerators in all our programmatic interventions. These accelerators are technology, innovation, data, and complements which is the governance, human capital, and institutions. Emerging technologies are already changing the food and agriculture sector, yet most governments or agri-food systems actors have yet to harness their powerful potential. Having farmers take full advantage of new technologies such as digital agriculture, biotechnology, process agriculture, innovation in agroecology, 5G, artificial intelligence, to increase food production and also to increase the food biodiversity, food diversity, while respecting the environment is of paramount importance. Innovation in general, and in particular in agriculture, is a central driving force for achieving the world free from hunger and malnutrition, because we will have a 10 billion population by 2050. Innovation and science increase social innovations, policy innovation, institutional innovation, financial innovations, technology innovations are important drivers that affect the food and agriculture production and the distribution processing and the consumption pattern. On data, FO geospatial platform and the data lab for st statistical innovation exemplify how big data on food, agriculture, social economics, and the natural resources can come together to have a strengthen the evidence-based decision making in the food and the cultural sectors. This is exactly what we are doing in our hand in hand initiative to transform agri-food systems of the least developed landlocked countries, least developed small island state, and food crisis countries, so that no one is left behind. Complements refer to the needed governance, human capital institutions to ensure and an inclusive agro systems transformation. Trans transformative processes require strong, transparent, accountable institutions and governance, including adaptive and effective regulatory governance. As technologies revolutionize the risk of unequal access, exclusion room, invest in investment in human capital buildings, as well as policy and regulations to minimize such risks are indispensable to work together towards the inclusive, safe, and trust-first trust digital technology in food and agriculture. We are building the international platform for digital food and agriculture, which will be at the heart of efforts to digitalize agriculture for achieving SDGs. Through dialogue, the platform will promote the coordination and the consensus among all stakeholders, enhance awareness on issues specifically to the 
digitalization of food and culture, provide guidance and support decision making. Momentum is building towards the United Nations Food Systems Summit to catalyze global efforts for inclusive health agri-food systems. Our new strategic framework is well aligned with the process towards the summit, and we continue to provide us full support for its proprietary process. Members that are conveying national level dialogue are relying on FAO technical advice and assistance. And we look forward to co-hosting the UN Food Systems Summit, uh, uh, pre-summit, Science Day, 2020 Science Day, and assistant the pre-summit in July at FL headquarters in Rome. Ladies and gentlemen, the COVID-19 pandemic is an astonishing wake-up call, wake call on the fragility of our agricultural system and the resulting vulnerabilities. But it also provides us the opportunity to re-evaluate how we address the root causes of hunger and build resilience against a similar threat in the future. We are doing this through FAO's comprehensive COVID-19 response and recovery program. This program has enabled partners to leverage FAO's convening power, real-time data, early warning system, and technical expertise to tackle the problems behind the trend and inequality in access to the food. Launched in July 2020 with a cooperative budget target of uh, 1.32 billion US dollars, program has received about 238 million pledged and confirmed contribution as of the middle February 2021. Ladies and gentlemen, challenge we face is enormous. We must transform agri-food system to provide a growing population with a health, affordable, and diversified food diets. We need to do so in a way that is economically profitable and environment friendly. We know that is achievable with innovation. We at FAO are ready to design big and take concrete action together with all our members and partners. Together, we can make our common vision of a hunger-free world a reality. Let's be a dreamers and doers at the same time. And the, the work, the talk. Thank you.